The video will start after a commercial break. The Angus Burger It's more delicious than the meat of a grizzly bear that you killed with your bare hands. we've seen painted black this week. What are we gonna do? Damn it, this is gonna hurt our reputation. Cattle have to be 51% black to be considered Angus. These ones are just frauds. We need somebody who's smart, efficient, and quite handsome. Handsome, you say? I know just the guy. Mace Machura, animal detective. Yes, ma'am, I can solve your case, but I'll need some evidence first. It's obvious cattle have been spontaneously turning black. You see here the intermediate stages of the transformation. I don't think so there, Mace. That's utterly ridiculous. Besides, these aren't even beef cattle, they're dairy cattle, completely bred for a different purpose. Do you even know what Angus is? Aberdeen Angus cattle are naturally pulled and can be black or red in color. They are resistant to harsh weather, well suited to the North American climate, and are renowned as a carcass breed. They are widely used in crossbreeding to improve animal genetics. This is likely why they are the choice of many farmers across North America. Well, alrighty then. Based on what I've seen here, cattle have been made black artificially. But why? Really? Black show moose, used by 4-H clubs for aesthetic purposes. Rebecca Takariuk, a notorious criminal, aka the Ukrainian farmer and as of late, the Ukrainian painter. We should bring her in for questioning. How are you gonna get her to confess? Oh, I have my method. Yeah, but how are we gonna find her? Speak and they shall appear. Nice legs. <laughs> really? Why did you do it? Everywhere you go, all you ever hear about is Angus. I just wanted to be a part of it and be able to market my animals effectively. I mean, they don't even genetically test the animals at the slaughterhouse. They just have to be 51% black. It was the perfect scheme. Mace, we already got her. To the Department of Beef. So what's your beef of beef? From what I understand, graders inspect black-hearted cattle and give it a grade. This top quality Angus beef is then evaluated again using the brand set of 10 science-based specifications. These include marbling and maturity, carcass size, animal age, and even the overall visual appearance of the cut. If it's good enough to make the cut, then it earns a distinctive certified Angus beef brand label, and that makes it more desirable to the consumer. So you're telling me Certified Angus Beef Committee did such a good job marketing their Angus beef that it's now synonymous with higher meat quality no matter what? Exactly! It's not only genetic effects, but also environmental effects, such as weather, disease, growth rate, and feeding methods to ensure prime cut, not just the color of the coat. So you're saying it's how I manage my animals, not what their genetics are like? Every breed has its advantages and disadvantages. The fact that Angus are more popular does not mean that they're better. Well, I guess I was wrong. There really is no right or wrong when it comes to taste preferences. Another case solved. Thanks, Mace! Sure is nice country. <laughs>